What is up, fellow YouTubers? So if you look over on the vice clamp right there, you see right there that I'm making a wand for my collection. I feel like it would take my mind off a couple of things. I'm not going to discuss the details on camera. However, I am going to say this. I refuse to believe my trolls. I refuse. And the fact that you'll sit there and try to convince homeboy Scotty of the same lie. So then when he tells me that I believe it. You know. That's pretty shitty. And that's just it. Like. People can't handle that this autistic kid. Is more liked than they are. Like. Hey this, this dude. This man. Has autism and they see my autism and they see that I'm more well liked than they are and it triggers them let me tell you something YouTube my trolls are special they're special YouTube yes they are they're annoying shits is what they are And like, you know, and that's just the thing of it, you know what I'm saying, I'm usually going to confront the source before I believe it, and um, I just think to myself, you know, these trolls need to get a life. They really do. <laughs> uh, well, I'm painting my new wand black with green tips, and then I'm giving it a green copper wire handle. That wand's gonna look smexy when it's done. The weather's kind of shit today, so I guess I'll, uh, I don't know. I can collect more sticks later on. I'm not worried about it. At this particular moment. I don't know. I just, I've been going through a lot of shit with my trolls recently. And, um, oh, that's what I get for trying to use eyeliner to darken my mustache. <laughs> it looks like shit. Anyways, yeah, I know I took care of it. But anyways, yeah, um, I refuse to believe my trolls, you know. They're just jealous of my success and my fans. And it's pretty sad. Well, two out of the three colors, my Scottish Viking ancestors, their clan colors are black, green, and gold. So, yeah. And that's, that's, just, that's just kind of a cool little coincidence. I like that, because even before... Even before I did Ancestry.com, did the whole DNA kit test thing, and yeah, you know, even before then, I've always liked the color combination. I've always liked the color combination black and green. That's always been, like, my favorite color combination. And then come to find out... <laughs> Although, I'm, I could just leave 
the bottom handle all black, the bottom of the handle all black. But I could also add a little bit of green to it, why not? I guess I'll make that decision when um the wand's done drying. But yeah, I wanted to make myself a wand, kind of take my mind off of things, you know. There might be like one to two more batches where the sticks will be sanded and collected from trees. But after that, the wands are going to get a lot more professional because I will be getting a mini lathe and a shop vacuum to pick up my carpet. Yeah. So if I'm lathing out wands, I am going to have to charge more for them because they're going to be a lot more elaborate for one. And two, using a lathe is not exactly safe. Lathes can be very dangerous if you're not careful. So, yeah. Um, my lathed wands would be 30 bucks instead of $24, which I think is a fair price. And not to mention, having a mini lathe will allow me to create wands that are more uniform and all the same length and the same thickness. You feel me? YouTube. Which is the biggest problem with sanding them by hand with a stick that you collected is that you really have to methodically sand the crap out of it for it to uh, be a nice consistent length and I think having a lathe will make making the wands a thousand times easier for sure um, and it'll be nice to see what cool designs I come up with To be a chance for my business to grow and expand. I found a place that sells colored copper wire. My point exactly, so. Yep. Like, I'm going to show you the, the copper wire I'm putting on my wand. Check this out. This is like a rich, dark green, almost emerald green, yeah. This is the copper wire I'll be putting on my wand's handle, yeah. This is the copper wire I normally use for the leather and copper handles. Yeah, nice and shiny. Well, holy fucking shit, that didn't take long to dry. Right on. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be, it's kind of look a little bit sticky, but it's not coming off on my hands. go, that looks nice. Yeah, you know, I want to add some green paint to the bottom of the handle. Why not? Just a little bit, though. I 
I managed to make the handle black and green by mistake. But I'm not gonna lie, that, that looks kinda cool. So I'm not even gonna trip out about it. Oop, some of that paint decided it didn't want it to come off. No, you don't, you little shag nasty. No, you don't. There might need to be a touch up on the paint here and there when it's done drying on this section right here. But other than that, so yeah, I'll be touching up the paint here and there when when I when I'm gonna yeah, son of a bitch. The paint's gonna need to be touched up right there. That's all right though, because this will be an easy enough touch up. Uh, yeah, just a little bit right there. It's, that's easy enough to touch up. Hmm. exactly what I want on the handle. Beautiful. There we go. I can see some of this green paint though from the next batch. That's why I didn't want to take it all. I want to wash my hands real quick. To say that my trolls are assholes is an understatement. Because convincing my friends of that same lie only makes it worse because, you know, people realize that I'm not going to trust just anybody, you know, but someone I've hung out with for five plus years. Yeah. Yeah, and these trolls are aware of that fact. That's why... That's why my trolls like to use Homeboy Scotty to fuck with me, you know, they'll tell him a lie, and blah, 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 you know, 
And it's just sad. And once I get my new wand done, oh, trust and believe. You'll see me carrying it around town. Yeah. Hmm. Like when I spray painted green on the handle, some of it streaked with the black paint, which, eh. and the way it's streaked, it looks kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. So yeah, I find that sometimes making wands is a great way to relieve stress. Take my mind off of things, you know. I'll make a video showing off the new wand when it's done. Anyways, Tubes, thank you for watching, and um, I'll catch you. Uh, I'll catch you, Cool Cobras, later, man.